Hello, Motion Graphics students. This is Mr. Simons. So we're going to put together all of the pictures that you made for your bouncing ball in iMovie and actually animate them. We will also speed them up and uh, bring them back into iMovie to play them really fast as well. So we'll play around with a few different things involved here. So the first thing we want to do is check that all our pictures are in one folder here and just check in on organization just a little bit. So we go to our documents folder. Here is my home folder. And within my home folder, I've got an archive for anything old that I'm not using that I might want to save. I've got some slideshow pictures. There's all my pictures from my slideshow. I've got a folder with just all the PNGs in it for our animation. And then I save the Illustrator file in a projects folder here. So having them separate will be really helpful because we can just import all of our PNGs into iMovie for our animation. So, so we've checked in on that. Everything's, everything's nicely organized and I open up iMovie. So most of the skills to put together the animation you worked on in the slideshow. It was deliberate that I had you work on the slideshow that way. So we want to make a new event within our iMovie library here. So right click on your library, make sure it's your library that things are going into here. And <coughs> who, when, and what. I'm going to put BB for bouncing ball here. And we can close the other anything else that we've been working on and just work with this event. We're going to import the media here. So we're just going to go to the folder to find our PNGs, CTMG, here's our anime folder here. So within documents, see, documents, home folder, and here is anime one, and there's all our PNGs. We can just grab, we, just, we can just grab all of them at this point. So click the top one, shift click the bottom one, import them all there they are we can see that so there they are in our event ready to be plopped in a movie let's make a new movie so very similar to the slideshow that we were doing and name this and there we have a timeline see the timeline again so we can take all of these in order and add them to the timeline in order. Let's see how they play initially. Okay, so they're playing really long and they're zooming in and out on the Ken Burns effect. So they're playing too long, so we need to change the timing and we need to change the Ken Burns effect here. But before we do, I wanna, I wanna make sure we have the ball going all the way back up. So we have the ball, and you can kind of see as you go through the timeline what's, what it's going to look like here. And so what we want to do is to reverse the order here and put our playhead right at the end. And you can go to the next one that you want to add here. I'm going to, don't want to add a whole bunch. want to go just one at a time. See, we can go in reverse order here and make sure the ball goes back up. So I'm reusing some pictures here to make the ball go up and down. So now if we, uh, if we look at our timeline here we got the ball going all the way down and back up and it's squashing and stretching all the way okay so um, next thing we want to do is to time these out so it'll actually animate so 
We can we can highlight all of them, but remember that if you have any other elements like titles or music there, you only want to get the clips that you want to time out. And so we use the shift click for that. I click the first one and shift click the last one. And we go to the timing button here. And I'm gonna make those all point one of a second and hit enter. And now you see that it's gone down to two, just two seconds worth of time that this is going to play. But let's let's go ahead and play it and see what happens here. Let me get back get our playhead back to the beginning. And see, it's still Ken Burnsing it. And so we want to get rid of the Ken Burns effect. Remember where we go for Ken Burns? Go to the crop button here. And we want to highlight everything. Again, we're going to shift click on everything and we go to fit here and let's watch our animation again from the beginning and there's our bouncing ball so um, the next thing you want to do is to highlight them all again and let's repeat this a few times here so shift click and I'm going to command C copy and make sure my playhead's at the end and paste a couple of times we're up to five seconds eight seconds 10 seconds 13 16 18 seconds let's get up to about 30 seconds worth here there's 29 that uh, that should do well, well go to 32 here 32 seconds worth you can see right here 32 seconds worth and let's go ahead and play that 32 seconds here by starting at the beginning. So what we want to do now is to export this to our folder and I'm going to export this to my projects folder here. Go ahead and share the file and I'm going to export it to my projects folder and wait for the little white piece to say that it is exported you can always double check what's going in share successful yay <laughs> glad it worked and looks like we're done okay so now we're going to import that back into our event here we're going to import that movie back into our event here and so I need to go back to my projects folder and I want to get that mp4 that we just made here and we're going to make another movie all together I'm going to call this bouncing ball two. This one we're going to speed up. We're going to we're going to really really make this a whole bunch faster. Let's get all 32 seconds of this onto the timeline. Okay, and uh, so what we want to do is highlight this clip and come up here to our speed and make it fast. And we can try eight times the speed here go to the beginning and watch our bouncing ball go really fast a little too fast maybe there let's uh let's let's change that speed again to more like four times i think that'll be good for for this particular animation there we go so you can play around with the speed and make it do whatever you want so success 
Uh, we've uh, we've created a frame by frame animation, animated it in iMovie, exported it as a movie, brought it back in so that we could speed it up. So uh, after you get done with all of those steps, go ahead and make something, get creative, uh, make something using this very same process um, from your mind. And talk to me if you don't have ideas on where to go next. Thanks, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.